Part 1. Unique Way to Avoid Nursing Homes As people age, everyone wishes for a life that is fulfilling and happy. That is why many seek a safe and smart retirement plan to enjoy lasting peace. Some opt for nursing homes, while others hire caregivers to support them during times of illness. Quite a few seniors choose nursing homes for end-of-life care. Here, they receive careful and thorough attention and have opportunities to meet peers, which helps reduce feelings of loneliness. However, many older adults cannot afford the costs associated with these facilities. Many nursing homes charge about $680 per month, which is even higher than the pensions some retirees receive. Similarly, hiring a professional caregiver to come to the home presents its own challenges. Monthly fees for hiring one can range from $135 to $410. If a professional with training in nutrition, psychology, and elderly care is required, costs can soar to $100,000 to $240 per month. Many older individuals prefer not to live with their children in old age. Generational gaps, job pressures, and financial issues often create conflicts. As a result, many elderly people choose to live alone, facing health and age-related risks without someone nearby to care for them. In China, however, a new trend in affordable elder care has emerged, benefiting both the elderly and their families. One specific example of this unique lifestyle is Mrs. Li, a 76-year-old woman living in Zhejiang. After a fall that weakened her bones and left her health fragile, she continued living alone because her children were working far away. Owning a spacious two-story house with two bedrooms per floor, she came up with the idea of offering free rent in exchange for daily care and attention. The person who rented her house was nearly 30-year-old Miss Wang, who worked in the city and needed a stable and convenient place to live. Her responsibilities included preparing two meals a day, doing basic house cleaning, and most importantly, monitoring Mrs. Lee's health. After a year of mutual benefit, Mrs. Lee considered Miss Wong like family, trusting her deeply. This elder care arrangement proved financially manageable for Mrs. Lee. Instead of charging high rent, she accepted a small amount from Miss Wong while receiving attentive care in return. This story is not unique to Mrs. Lee and Jay Zhang. Many seniors seek companionship and reliable care without spending heavily. If they suddenly fall ill, their children can rest assured knowing there is someone living with them. There is a story in South Korea about a unique method when you don't want to live with your children or in a nursing home, and you don't need a helper either. At the age of 70, Mr. Park had experienced many different situations in his search for peace and comfort in his later years. He had tried living with his children, hiring a caregiver, and even moving into a nursing home. However, nothing truly satisfied him. The nursing home brought a deep sense of loneliness as he watched his elderly friends gradually pass away. Living with his children made him feel constrained and like a burden weighing on his family. Hiring a caregiver was expensive and didn't bring him joy. Mr. Park's heart constantly yearned for his own home with its spacious yard and close friends. The growing disappointment drove him to leave the nursing home and return to his old house. A sense of freedom washed over him as he stepped into the familiar home and the peaceful atmosphere calmed his soul. For three days he enjoyed his independence, but then that peace began to give way to worries. Every night he would wake up to strange noises, a creeping sense of unease settling in. Near Mr. Park's home was a small grocery store run by Mr. Kim and Mrs. Hyde, a hard-working couple who struggled financially. He often visited the store and gradually formed a close bond with them. One day, while buying some groceries, he overheard the couple having a heated argument about financial difficulties. His heart sank. He thought about his loneliness and the desire for companionship, and an idea suddenly came to him. Mr. Park invited the couple into his house and candidly offered, if you can help me with a few light chores like cleaning and cooking, I'll pay you 200,000 won each month. This will be support for both of us, not a hiring arrangement. Mr. and Mrs. Kim exchanged hesitant glances. They felt awkward about taking money from Mr. Park, a respected elder. But with his sincere offer and their growing financial pressure, they eventually agreed. On the first day, an awkward silence filled the house. But gradually, the couple's laughter and warmth spread throughout the home, bringing Mr. Park a genuine sense of family.
As time went by, Mr. Park realized he had not only regained his independence, but also found the warmth he had longed for. The Kim couple did more than just household chores. They brought joy and filled the house with life. His home was no longer empty, but filled with laughter and loving glances. At the age of 80, Mr. Park couldn't believe he had managed to live a fulfilled life without needing expensive professional care. One day, in a moment of emotion, he gently held the young couple's hands and promised, if you continue to care for me well, I will give you five million one. Mr. and Mrs. Kim were overwhelmed, tears streaming down their faces. That amount could change their lives, lifting them out of hardship. Gratitude filled their hearts, and they silently vowed to care for Mr. Park, not just for the money, but because of the genuine love that had blossomed in their warm home. As you grow older, it's important to remember that living in a nursing home or with your children is not your only option. You deserve to explore different ways that can provide comfort and independence. Consider creative housing arrangements, such as downsizing to a smaller home that's easier to maintain. Alternatively, you can think about co-housing communities where seniors live close to one another and share common facilities while still having their own private spaces. Technology today can also help you live independently, from medical alert systems to smart home devices that make life simpler. Keeping an open mind and researching new possibilities can lead to a happier and more fulfilling lifestyle. Seeking professional advice from a financial planner or real estate expert can also give you more options. The goal is to have a life where you feel secure yet free, with the ability to make decisions that are best for you. Aging doesn't mean losing your autonomy. It's about finding solutions that allow you to live comfortably and with dignity. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment 9. If not, comment 0. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time. Part 2. Essential Tips for Living Alone After 70. Stay Healthy, Safe, and Fulfilled. Living alone as you age can present unexpected challenges that quietly build up over time. You might find yourself feeling more isolated than you'd imagined, neglecting your health without anyone around to remind you, or struggling to keep your home manageable. Picture waking up one morning, unsure if it's Monday or Thursday, or feeling burdened by a house that once felt like a haven, but now brings only stress. Worse still, think about facing a sudden emergency with no one there to assist. These challenges are more common than you might expect among older adults living alone. But the good news is that they're avoidable. What if I told you there are simple, proven strategies that can make all the difference in how you experience life on your own? Imagine staying connected with loved ones, feeling physically and emotionally well, and enjoying the comfort of a safe and welcoming home. In this guide, I'll share invaluable insights and practical advice that come from both personal experience and the shared wisdom of older adults who have mastered living independently. By the end, you'll discover how to avoid common pitfalls and embrace a life filled with confidence, purpose, and peace of mind. Stay with us. You won't want to miss these life-enhancing tips. 1. Avoid ignoring safety concerns. As you age, especially when living alone, making your home secure becomes increasingly important. Many seniors tend to dismiss Smith's safety concerns, often thinking, I've been fine all these years. However, taking proactive measures now can prevent future emergencies or accidents. Imagine this, you have a minor fall in the kitchen and can't reach your phone for hours. A situation like this happened to a fellow senior who, after experiencing it, invested in a personal emergency response system. These devices can offer great peace of mind, ensuring that help is only a button press away. Additionally, proper lighting is essential. Make sure stairways, hallways, and bathrooms are well lit to minimize the risk of tripping. It's also wise to install security cameras or arrange for a trusted neighbor to check in regularly. These steps not only enhance your safety, but also bring a sense of reassurance, letting you enjoy your home comfortably without unnecessary worry. Taking small but thoughtful measures today can ensure you feel secure and supported while living independently. 2. Avoid complete isolation. As you grow older, living alone can often lead to unintended isolation. 
It's surprisingly easy for days to blend into weeks with minimal interaction beyond routine errands. Many older adults, perhaps even yourself, have shared experiences of feeling disconnected from friends, family, and the community before realizing it. That's why making an active effort to maintain social ties is crucial. Consider joining a local club or participating in community activities. Even virtual gatherings can be meaningful. Sometimes it's as simple as scheduling a weekly phone call with someone close to you or attending local events when possible. One inspiring story involves a woman who decided to volunteer at a nearby shelter each week. Not only did she rediscover a sense of purpose, but she also formed lasting friendships. Remember, the key is not to wait until loneliness sets in, but to proactively nurture your social connections. These moments don't have to occur daily, but consistent, small efforts can greatly enrich your life, bringing warmth and fulfillment to your days. 3. Avoid losing your sense of purpose. Living alone can sometimes feel isolating, especially after retiring or losing a loved one. It's easy to feel like the days drag on without meaningful activity. Yet your life holds immense value, and ev every day brings an opportunity for growth, connection, or giving back. Consider reigniting your curiosity by exploring that hobby you've always dreamed of trying, painting, gardening, or even mastering a new language. These activities can enrich your days and give you something to look forward to. Volunteering is another fantastic way to feel purposeful. Imagine the fulfillment of sharing your wisdom and experiences with young people, just as a fellow retiree once described the joy he found mentoring youth in his area. He found connection and satisfaction, making a genuine difference in others' lives. The key is to keep discovering new ways to engage with the world around you. Life is brimming with possibilities, and living alone doesn't mean your days can't be rich with purpose and meaning. There's always something new to learn, explore, or share, and that can keep your spirit alive and fulfilled. Embrace each day as a new adventure, knowing there is always something valuable to contribute. 4. Avoid neglecting your health. When you're living on your own, it's easy to let your health routine slide. With no one there to remind you, it can be tempting to skip taking your medications, postpone doctor's visits, or neglect getting outside for fresh air and exercise. Imagine how easy it becomes to delay appointments, thinking, I'll take care of it next week, until weeks turn into months. By then, small concerns could become more significant health problems. To prevent this, Use tools like phone reminders or a calendar to keep yourself on track. Establishing a routine can be helpful. Perhaps you can make a habit of a daily walk or gentle stretches each morning. Staying active isn't just good for your body. It helps your mind, too. And remember, your mental health is equally vital. Don't keep feelings of anxiety or sadness bottled up. It's okay to reach out and talk to someone or consider seeing a therapist if needed. Your emotional well-being deserves just as much care as your physical health. By staying proactive, you give yourself the gift of better health and peace of mind. 5. Avoid financial disorganization. As you age, staying on top of your finances can become more challenging, but it's crucial for your peace of mind. You might find that paperwork piles up or bills slip your memory, especially without anyone to keep you accountable. Many people emphasize the value of organized finances to avoid unnecessary stress or insecurity. Imagine this. You let automatic payments continue for services you no longer use, or you miss important bills because you weren't paying attention. One widow shared that after her spouse, who always managed their finances, passed away, she found herself lost. Without realizing it, she had been paying for unneeded subscriptions and utilities for months. It wasn't until she checked her bank statements, feeling overwhelmed, that she saw the full impact. However, with the support of a reliable family member, she managed to regain control of her financial life. To avoid this, set up a simple system that works for you. Automate payments for essential bills and take a few moments each month to review your bank statements. Keep your important financial documents together in one secure location. If needed, don't be afraid to reach out for assistance, whether that's from a trusted family member, friend, or financial advisor. Staying organized can offer you greater security and peace of mind. 6. Avoid developing unhealthy habits. When living alone, you may relish the newfound freedom, 
but it can also lead to habits that impact your well-being. Without someone to notice, it's easy to slip into overeating, not getting enough exercise, or consuming more alcohol than you should. Think about how you might find yourself munching endlessly in front of the TV, simply because there's no companion to share meals with. These patterns, while comforting at first, can gradually harm both your physical and mental health. To counter this, you could try structuring your days with healthy routines. Start by setting achievable goals. Prepare nutritious meals a few times each week. Take a leisurely walk daily or engage in a hobby that keeps you active. Remember, it's not about being perfect, but striving for balance. Be gentle with yourself and treat your body with the same care you would offer a beloved friend. By nurturing positive habits, you support your health and create a more fulfilling life. 7. Avoid neglecting your home environment. Living alone offers you the wonderful freedom to shape your space exactly as you like, but without others to notice, it's easy for clutter to build up or for tasks to go unfinished. Over time, this accumulation can lead to stress and even create safety risks. One woman from a senior living forum reflected on how, after losing her spouse, she gradually stopped paying attention to her surroundings. Her home became crowded and disorganized, draining her energy and leaving her feeling overwhelmed. A friend's visit brought a turning point. They worked together to tidy up, and she was amazed at the positive impact on her mood. Taking small, manageable steps to keep your space in order is key. You don't need to tackle everything in one go. Start by reducing clutter in high traffic areas like hallways, keeping important surfaces clear, and ensuring essentials like your phone or glasses are within easy reach. Each small effort you make can bring a sense of calm and improve your well-being. An organized and clean environment not only promotes peace of mind, but also enhances your safety, helping you feel better every day. 8. Avoid losing track of time. When you live alone, especially in retirement, the days can start to blur together, and it becomes easy to lose track of time. You might catch yourself asking, is today Monday or Thursday? This confusion can sometimes lead to feelings of disorientation or even sadness. Many people have shared helpful advice about this on various forums. One retiree mentioned that establishing daily and weekly routines made a huge difference in his life. He found that planning regular activities, like setting aside specific days for grocery shopping or enjoying a morning walk at the same hour, brought a sense of purpose to his days. Having a routine can keep you grounded. Simple things such as choosing a consistent time to wake up, eat meals, or enjoy hobbies add structure and meaning to your daily life. Writing out a weekly schedule or using a calendar can also help. This approach not only keeps you from feeling directionless, but also gives you small things to look forward to every day. 9. Avoid holding on to things out of sentimentality. Holding on to sentimental items can bring comfort and a sense of nostalgia, but keeping too many can clutter your space and weigh heavily on your mind. There's a delicate balance between treasuring your memories and allowing your belongings to take over. Imagine this, a person in their later years finds themselves surrounded by their late partner's possessions, clothes, tools, even old letters, each one filled with sentimental value. For years, they couldn't part with a single item, feeling that letting go would mean erasing precious memories. But one day, they realized that all these objects were holding them back from living fully. With the help of loved ones, they began the emotional process of decluttering. They sifted through each belonging, keeping only those that truly held deep meaning. The rest were lovingly let go. Some passed down to family members, others donated to bring joy to new owners. It wasn't easy, but when they finished, their home felt lighter, more open and inviting to new experiences. By releasing items that no longer serve a purpose, you're not losing memories, but creating space for the present. Keep a few cherished pieces, maybe take photos of items that evoke special moments, and let the rest find new life. Decluttering this way can be liberating, helping you feel more in control of your surroundings and ready to embrace the future with a sense of freedom and renewal. Toss 10. Avoid skipping emergency preparedness. Living alone comes with responsibilities, especially for older adults, and one of the most crucial is being prepared for emergencies. Imagine facing a power outage, a medical crisis, or a natural disaster without a backup plan. 
The reality is that without someone nearby to assist, preparation is key to ensuring your safety and peace of mind. Consider this. A sudden snowstorm could leave you without electricity for days. You might have food stored, but feel isolated if your phone isn't charged, and the darkness could feel overwhelming without backup lighting. After an experience like that, you'd likely understand the importance of staying prepared. Having items like a portable phone charger, emergency kit, and battery-powered lights on hand can make a world of difference. Take action now. Create a comprehensive plan that covers different emergency scenarios. Keep an easily accessible list of emergency contacts and gather supplies, including non-perishable food, bottled water, essential medications, and flashlights. Always keep your phone charged and invest in a power bank for added security. If you live in an area with severe weather, stock up on extra necessities and become familiar with evacuation routes or safe locations nearby. Your safety and well-being are worth the effort and preparation can provide you with the confidence to face unexpected events without fear. Living alone as an older adult can be both rewarding and challenging, but taking proactive steps is crucial for a fulfilling and secure life. First, actively maintaining social connections can prevent isolation and boost your well-being. It is equally important to stay on top of your health, keeping up with medical routines and daily exercise to support both your body and mind. Safety cannot be overlooked. Invest in emergency systems and ensure your home is free from hazards. Develop healthy habits and avoid the traps of overeating or inactivity. Structure your days with simple, positive routines. Organize your home and reduce clutter to create a calming, safe environment. Remember, it's okay to ask for help. Seeking support strengthens your independence, not diminishes it. Don't lose track of time. Establish routines that bring meaning and consistency to your days. Manage finances carefully, automating where possible, and seeking assistance if needed. Being prepared for emergencies is essential, so make a plan and gather supplies today. Finally, Embrace a sense of purpose through hobbies or volunteering, ensuring each day holds value and joy. If you find these stories inspiring and they motivate you to take action, please comment 9. If not, comment 0. Your feedback means a lot to us. Thank you for your valuable time.